Let's check out some cursed Reddit stories. Why don't we? Capture him it in Supo. What is the Myers Briggs personality test? What is the Myers Briggs personality test? Thousands, maybe hundreds of hours in that is now pointless. Apex Legend. Um, this one amazing game on the PlayStation called PlayStation Home. It was a free to play open world just chat place. Like you just talk to people, you had avatars, you could play some mini games, and it was absolutely amazing. I spent thousands of dollars on it. And then it was shut down, man. Good old PlayStation Home. I saw an escort at one yeah. of the parties, but she was like 76? That's an old hoe. Are you cool with poop? Are you Me cool with poop? Giga yeah. 2023. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. It's horrible to think about. Now am I beloved? My beloved. My beloved. Hello. That was a good Kermit. The activity for today. Look at things that my community sent me that I pulled myself okay. from Reddit because it's a place I only go for tech support. What Word. Is that that one Myers Briggs that people are like, oh yes. There's like a subreddit just for people that are INTJ. Mine is I am What is INTJ. what is it? What are these IN things? Oh, yes. I've seen these all over the internet. That are INTJ. What is this? INTJ MBTI personality type stands for introversion, intuition, thinking, judgment. Batman, Hannibal Lecter, Walter White. Bro, I wouldn't want to be compared to any of these motherfuckers. J. Mine is I am I N T. Someone say tech support. Fuck it, Nandu. Two of them. There's one where I was like on the fence. What do you mean? They place you on a scale for each letter. One or the We only need your password and username. I was like, kind of in the middle, but still pretty introverted. When it came to thinkers versus feelers, I was like 90% on the thinking side. Not Think too on the damn much. Side. And I was like, oh my God, this is scary. Yours is the opposite? Complete really? opposite. <laughs> What the f are you guys doing? You, have you taken your Myers Briggs personality test? Myers Briggs personality right test. I was either ESFP, which was the inner. What is this? Ex extroverted sensing, feeling, perceiving. One of 16 personality types identified by the Myers Briggs. Joey, uh, uh, Ron Weasley, Jesse Pinkman. Oh boy. These are not good characters, by the way. These are like some bad characters. Container? Except for Ron Weasley, or he's kind of cool, I guess. I was basically the social worker oh. with questionable intelligence. Damn. I mean, this, though, because the descriptions of it like are, are mostly pretty true to me. Uh, you're gonna go take the test? And okay, let me know how it goes. Thing where they're like, yeah, <laughs> you're pretty unfeeling and detached. And when people you're pretty emotion, unfeeling and detached. And I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Got mine. Mm, what you got? Campaigner. ENFP. Campaigner. Then let me Sorry. ask you some funny. That sounds questions. like you. Uh, let me pick your brain. Go on stories. Oh, but are they actually funny? Uh. Probably not. Sure. What have you invested thousands, maybe hundreds, of hours in that is now pointless? Video games. <laughs> no, but you no, like video wait. games. That's Apex funny. Legends. <laughs> You say that, and then you're always crawling back. They have a good season, and you're like, oh. Only because of my friends. What is a small, seemingly... <laughs> Not to worry about it. No, I'm saying if you have the personality of Jesse Pinkman, you should 100% be worried about that shit. <laughs> what is you should 100% be worried about that. seemingly insignificant decision you've made that, that ended up that. having a huge impact on your life. A, a seemingly insignificant decision that had a, had a huge impact. I want to believe it was wearing my cousin's glasses because I had some good vision, but his vision was messed up. But I will always wear his glasses just because. And I think that's why I have to wear them now. So, yeah, seemingly insignificant that, yeah. decision you've made that ended up having a huge impact on your life. <laughs> Not wearing a condom. Uh, <laughs> tiny, tiny thing. Becoming a VTuber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought in my head, too. That's a small thing. That's a big me. thing to do, become a like, VTuber. Oh, I'll just fuck around and stream well, with friends occasionally. You didn't know It'll be it was going to blow up. We mm -hmm. just did it. Mm. Yeah, this was like totally hobby level for me for the longest time. What immediately tells you that a person wasn't raised right? I want to say whenever they're talking to their parents and they're like cussing them out. I'm like, damn, bro, you talk to your parents like that? When That's they're crazy. rude to wait staff and retail workers. Yes. That one. Absolutely. Oh, I see someone I can going, see that. can you get this from the back? And they go, we don't have any in the back. And they're like, well, I remember. I'm like, you, you were not raised well. Like <laughs> immediately. I, you call this medium? Ex 
excuse me? Take it. Take it back. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. Anyway, oh my god. How to ruin your life in one step. Way to eat something Man, that I, hate. I ain't gonna lie, watching VTuber is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made with my life. I hate if they didn't do something like inherently wrong to it. Like if something's undercooked, obviously I'll be like, hey. But if I can eat and notification it presently refuses to give me notifications when you're alive yeah i saw comfy thank you for becoming a member i don't know why it's not giving people notifications like if you click the sub but if you click the sub button and click the notification button it should work if it doesn't work i, I don't know maybe it's the notifications on your phone i don't know i'll just eat it I'll i can only find the 16 personality tests uh what is it called um it's called the it's in the be like it's, it's called the. Uh, I saw an, that one Myers Briggs. It's called the Myers Briggs personality test. So that's what it is. Physical Myers Briggs. Time. They're either like, eh? and when they spoke English, yeah. I want this thing that can be. Hmm? Japan is a good learning curve ever, and my entitles are falling. Damn, what Japan. number were we on? It's undercooked, obviously. Anyway. Oh my god. I'll go out of my way to eat something what that, is this? that a person wasn't raised right. Okay. What? Immediately, I, oof. You call this medium? Excuse YouTube me? YouTube tripping? Take I wouldn't it. doubt it. What's up, Nick? Welcome in. Take it back. <laughs> Take it back. Anyway. Oh my god. You're taking the 16 personality test. Okay. Something Let me know that how I it goes. hate if they didn't do something like inherently wrong to it. Like if something's undercooked, obviously I'll be like, hey. But if I can eat it, I'll just eat it. I can't what do you send mean? it back if they're busy. I can't either be like, well, you can't send food back if it's cooked, right? Like if it's so like if say if I order a steak and I, I order it and I want medium and it comes back medium rare. Like, yeah, that's not a big deal. So, yeah, I wouldn't do it either. But if I say medium and you bring that shit raw. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my mother, though, or, I don't think we've ever in my entire life left a restaurant where we did. And if you bring it back well done, I'm going to also have an issue. <laughs> leave with a gift certificate. A gift certificate? Japan is a good learning curve about how the mm -hmm. world probably should be. Mm -hmm. in, in Japan, Let me hear this shit. To pull that bullshit. Oh, I want this thing that you've made and constructed, but I would like it a different way because mm -hmm. I. And every single time. They're either like, eh? and when they spoke yeah. English, n no. <laughs> What's no. the most out of touch thing a rich person has said to you or in front of you? The most out of touch thing a rich person's ever said to me? You drive your car? Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I was driving my car and they were like, you drive your car? Because rich people don't drive their cars. Driving is for the help. Oh, Lordy. I I am from origins where you just I think it's not overcooked. Oh yeah, there okay it is. And very not Put extra salt and pepper I've on it. I've experienced a lot of both. <laughs> I had this friend. Uh, basically, as soon as she was finished with college, her parents like bought her a house, and she Damn. immediately started having dinner parties. Zen goes to this bed. Is, like, Good night, Zen. Yeah. Dinner party where like they hire in a private chef mm -hmm. and do the whole catering thing, right? And like now I'm used mm -hmm. to that, but at the time I was like, oh. I don't know that the one waiter is enough they're not going to be able to bring the food out fast enough like they're setting the table very slowly we should probably get another one and and the guy was like well we don't have any more <laughs> and she said yeah you didn't book well, can't you just get another one and they said no we don't have any more and she was like well can't you just find one i was like <laughs> she genuinely does not understand that she cannot just have things it was moment. i was like what it felt very like uncanny valley all of a sudden <laughs> my mother has also been on both sides mm. and in the past blurry amount of years um she finally found a man good job finally found a man. He, rich man <laughs> yeah oh like, uh, there it is good for her get the bag i guess her. i don't think they're a good match oh but yeah he got money I mean, that's all that mattered to her apparently entirely different world like you're stepping foot into like where the hell am i one of the times that was weird there were all these wait staff you the worry farm. about the like, price for, <laughs> when you raise your arm you're like come here mm -hmm. <laughs> one of them came over and i'm like oh my gosh she's so fucking cute and <laughs> She was really I always nice take the price twice before buying form. something. They called her over like six, seven. You know, I never really worry about prices here as long as it's not over a certain amount. So like if I'm going to go get milk, as long as the milk isn't over like six dollars, I'm good. <laughs> she was really nice and polite and helpful and they called her over. Bro, I love that Sasuke Peepo emoji. For like six, seven, Pepe eight or whatever. times until eventually my mom's friend is talking to her and is like, where are you from? She was from out of town. She was from New York. And she tried to like buy... Like, to, oh, 
like to pay for her to move to New York to be her oh, staff. Her, to be her staff? Yo, that's some rich people stuff for real. Oh I'll fly you to New York. I want you to be my staff, an bro. Escort. That's crazy. At one yeah. of the parties, but she was like an escort. Six. That's what? crazy. And I, I remember Let's uh, go. this one. I know, like, all these dudes nearby looking at her and doing, like, this head bob, and I'm like, these are people in their 70s and 80s, and there's, like, clearly cheating has occurred, and there's yeah. all these, like... Clicks. Of course. Of <laughs> course. Know, of course. Yeah, rich people cheat all the time, man. That's, like, an unwritten rule. Like, yeah, he's married, and, and, you know, they're together, and they're happy in public, but, yeah, like, he's cheating. And she's probably cheating, too, with the, with the, pool, with the pool guy. You know, it's just something that's just a thing. Oh, she's so young. She's like 15 years younger. Oh, I hate her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> happens too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's like, <laughs> Someone chat went grand pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Someone in chat said, I hear she's still on her first hip. <laughs> <laughs> Some people in my Discord, I asked them to send in some classic Reddit posts that are like really good stories or things uh -huh. to read. Today I fucked up by throwing my steak out a window. Dude, first of all, I read today. Last I night my wife's boss, my wife's boss from her brand new job invited us over for dinner. On the drive over, my wife reiterated many times to me just how important it was to make a good impression. I fucked up by and you threw the steak, steak out, out the window. The window. Okay. Dude, first of all, I, I like rare steak. Yes, yeah, so true love. Yeah, the 20 year old dating a 70 year old. Old, old. You know, I've actually seen that. It was, it, I don't know if he, if he was 70, he looked like it. I was down in Pattaya in Thailand, bro. Like this beautiful looking, like 20 year old something, bro. They hopped on this scooter and took off. I was like, bro, love at first sight. <laughs> That's how it works. So bad. I want to say before we move on, I was thinking about hmm. intuitive sounds. Oh, they said that the in the other room they heard the sound of the steak hitting the window. Mm -hmm. You know that common sound of steak hitting window. You know <laughs> yes, the sound. Yes. Wet slap thud against the window. I guess she heard a thud against the window, but the way he wrote it was like, you know. So the guy that posted the steak story the same day, his wife also, because she also loves posting on Reddit, posted a post titled, today I fucked up by allowing my husband to come to my <laughs> house. Honestly, I would have said nothing. I Just like bring out the it. dessert. You would have eaten it? I would have sat there and eaten it. I would have been like, if I get sick, I get sick. To be fair, I love incredibly rare food steak the why fibers, the carpet fibers the fibers, why? carpet fibers i'll eat the floor steak whatever what? there's a lot more bacteria on people's hands than there is on like the floor it's just, just dust you know yeah but you don't normally lick people's hands or you don't lick the floor at least normally i don't understand this logic that's not gonna because animals you. and stuff istp you know, what does I that mean, even look, i don't know I kiss my cat straight on the face a type i, I don't even like know what that is percent toxoplasmosis already toxoplasmosis <laughs> straight on the face i think i'm like 30 percent toxoplasmosis Toxoplasmosis leading cause of death from foodborne illnesses. What the shit? Osmosis already. Like, I, I don't think there's any going back for me, so I I don't really worry about it anymore. Um <laughs> I hope Geek is okay. I would love to have you read. Are you cool with poop? I mean, Are you I cool can, with poop? I can do it. I'm a brave little toaster. Are you me cool with poop? Here. Giga 2023. Oh god. <laughs> oh, if at any point you want to tap upset. out on it, you absolutely can. The poop knife. What? My family poops big, goddammit. <laughs> my, fa my family redacted big. <laughs> maybe it's genetic, maybe it's their diet. It's most likely maybe. diet. Most likely not diet. Strong enough. Holy cow. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. I will be <laughs> strong for you. I got this. My family poops big. This is the poop knife story. And this one is a classic and has been floating around the internet for like a really long time. I've never heard of I'm it. I'm so surprised that you have not heard the poop knife story. I've about never heard of it. a guy who had to find out in this way that he was raised with something that is not normal. <laughs> Ugh, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible to think about. I'm so gross and so perverted and then talk of poop and I just revert to baby. I it's, just, it's, oh. it's one of those things does not matter what else you're fine with. It's just one of those things where it's uh. I'm struggling to find the very specific thing that I want. 
I was gonna say, was it the well-known Reddit saga of the guy with two dicks? But maybe it's not. There's a guy not with that, two. That sounds fantastic. That sounds delightful. Some of the funniest ones come out of people that are into like health and wellness. To oh a God! Horrible like. like yeah, yeah, yeah. There was this whole time period where people were into uh, perineum sunning. What does that even mean? Sunning is either shining your your asshole at the sun. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that one. Yes. Oh, I nailed it. Okay. You are Wonderful. sunning your butt. Basically, they would like do yoga, do it naked, and then make sure that you like do a downward facing dog out to the sun. And like and spread your cheeks like, open. Yeah, they were like, you know, the fastest absorption, you know, happens through here. So if you point it at the sun, you know, it's like you absorb the energy. <laughs> and so so many people were getting like ass sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's crazy. <laughs> bro, yeah, yeah. bro, bro, like, doing do, like, do they at least put sunscreen on the on the you know on the like? There's no way, like, bro, if it burns and then, like, come on, bro, like, you have to do how long does it take to heal from a, sun, a sunburn? Like, a week or two? This, like, like bro. Outside or next to, like, an Ooh. open window. Wear in sunscreen, uh, at least. But then you can't absorb the energy fully. There cannot be barriers between you and the sun. You're lubricating the process so that the rays can get in better. No, they just no, slip no. right in, like, bro, okay. In full absorption, apparently. Okay, all right. <laughs> I forgot that my PNG is me just flipping you off every time I talk. That was a uh, Giga's Reddit stories, man. Thank you for uh, sharing this with us. I uh, thank you. Bow, 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 bow.